Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We of course are on Critical Mode. This is an extras episode. An episode where we are going to the new and hidden dungeon here in Kingdom Hearts in Radiant Garden in the postern, which you can go to from the world the world map. This is the Cavern of Remembrance. This is a brand new uh, brand new dungeon that was introduced in the Final Mix version of the game. It did not exist in the original one, and as such, it is pretty challenging. I recommend, and actually it's mandatory, to come here when your drive when your drive forms are completely maxed. That means level 7 across the board. Right now, you can see my health, my party, my stuff. I'm level 74. Donald and Goofy are also, of course, level 74. Uh, abilities, customize, customize right now, I am rocking Thundaga, Fyraga, Kiraga, although, uh, Magnaga is not a terrible idea, if you would rather Magnaga instead of Fyraga, uh, and then of course you can use that beautiful, beautiful, uh, ability, and uh, these are my abilities as of right now, I'm just gonna go through real quick, I have auto limit on, I found that it just saves my ass sometimes. Uh, I don't have quick run because I don't really like quick run and these are all my abilities all right I recommend equipping MP rage in haste in hastera those are going to be very very nice for you in here second chance and once more will save your butt this is a pretty challenging pretty challenging du uh, dungeon I also recommend coming in here with uh, I tend to sometimes go with oblivion uh, but decisive pumpkin does do the most damage so you can do kind of whatever you want here a bit oblivion is on my uh thing just because it allows um some cool stuff but you know it's totally up to you combo boost is pretty useful so i'm gonna have the decisive pumpkin on there and now we are going to head this is before any of the synthesizing this is before the ultimate weapon this is before all of that in fact you actually need to come here to get all of that so let's go to the cavern of remembrance all of the puzzle pieces that we have left here in Radiant Garden, by the way, are in the Cavern of Remembrance. So if you're missing any puzzle pieces, this is probably where they are. Ooh, we got a drive recovery. All right. Those are scattered throughout uh, those little bubbles, and they contain some cool stuff. Right there, we can get an AP boost. And welcome to the first ever... Oh, not yet. This is the first chamber of the Cavern of Remembrance. This is the easiest chamber in the Cavern of Remembrance. Uh, it's... It's fun. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, it's very platformy. This whole area is, is like a... It almost plays like like a platform game, like a Spyro or, or Crash Bandicoot. And I dig it. So right up here, we'll go ahead and grab this Sunset Puzzle piece. Uh, let's actually go all the way over here first before we go anywhere else. And we can go ahead and grab that Sunset Puzzle piece. And then we can come over here. And there's no items, but there are these new Heartless. These are new Heartless that were introduced, of course, that you cannot... You can find, like, types of these, but these ones are harder. Um, they just do different attacks. They, they do more damage. Uh, you'll also notice that they give some pretty me mediocre uh, experience, which is, of course, pretty lame. Right there, we were able to kill that, which is great. Of course, they do have the worst enemy in the game, which is those cars. I absolutely hate them. Now, there is some stuff on the final, on the, the bottom floor, which is actually where you're going to find the Heartless in this area. So right here, we can go ahead and just open this for a quick power crystal. Yet again, used in synthesizing. You'll notice that we will be getting a ton of synthesizing items here. Uh, it's really, really worth it. Something that I think is very, very important to point out is you need to come here with uh, restorative items. There is absolutely no save points until the very end of this little extra dungeon. And this, considering this is one of the harder dungeons in the game, you might have a hard time with that, to be totally honest with you. It's a hard, it can be a very, very challenging world, a very challenging dungeon. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rid of these not hammer frames. These are uh, a new type of heartless. I'll actually show you guys in the journal in a second what these what these are. Um, and, and show you what their journal entries say. You do have to come here for one, a platinum trophy. And two, for 100% completion in, in Jiminy's journal. You absolutely have to. Right over here, we can grab another item, which is going to contain a frost crystal, yet again used in synthesizing. So we can go grab that. That will get rid of those. The explosion is very, very, very handy for, for these guys just so you know uh because it actually does hurt them even in their their like invincibility frames that they have anyways let's jump into our journal uh let's actually go to the Gemini's journal which is here right over here uh and we can see that we have new heartless now um not those guys not those guys magic phantom you can see this guy when it's in the air the keyblade will have no effect reflect its magic to lure it out of the sky once it's on the ground it's time to strike you have to use reflect or just time it right to hit those. 
The Iron Hammers. Uh, pretty cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, Mad Ride, we've got some of those. Uh, camo Cannon. Can you even see them? I can only see like a floating... Get it? Because they're immune to fire and lightning, so don't use any Thunder Gun on those guys. Cool. Uh, so that's those those new Heartless anyways. And now we can continue and try to get out of this area. I just wanted to show that off real quick because it is kind of cool. You may have noticed that there is a treasure chest pretty much right above me. We can't actually get there yet. Um, it's right in that room. We can't get there yet, so don't worry about it. So right over here, we can grab another chest, which is going to contain a manifest illusion. And then potentially, yeah, we can get over here. And right here, we can grab another AP boost. So that is everything in this first area. Now we can go through this cool looking door. And we will find our one of our first of our missing maps. You may have noticed that we're missing about three to four maps uh, just in Radiant Garden. We get them right there, which is pretty gnarly. And then right over here, we can grab another item, which is going to contain another AP boost. So if you really desperately need more AP, well, there you go. So one of the things you can do is you can jump and then you can jump again and do just like that and you can get across. You save that second jump and you can get in here. And then we'll have to fight a few of these. Now, I actually, something that I recommend is just using your drive form and just making this super easy on yourself and just trying to go in. Now, remember, these guys you have to actually reflect. So I'm actually going to uh, do this and wait for them. Oh my god, wait. There we go. Wait again. And there we go. I'm actually going to use Cure real quick. Cool. And we can just plow through these guys. Not a big deal. Clear all of the enemies that appear, and you'll be totally, totally fine. Cool. And they're all dead. You'll notice in this room in particular that things start to get a little bit harder for you. In this area, we actually need to go right over here to the Cave of Remembrance Depths. This is actually where I was like, oh, remember we can't get in? You can destroy this. You can destroy this right here. Two combos. It goes down. Now you can get up here anytime. Right here, we can grab another item, which is going to contain a Remembrance Gem, which, of course, is needed for uh, synthesizing. And then we'll come in here. There's no enemies whatsoever, but there is a nice little chest that we can grab, which is a Serenity Gem, yet again used for synthesizing. And then these things. Now, what you want to do is you want to burn this down, get it to zero, come over here, uh, attack this one, get this one to zero, and then come over here, attack this one. You want to do it before they get to full health. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just do a full combo. They'll have no health. You need all three to be low at any one time. This will activate the machinery above. So now we can go and explore the area that I was just in. And now we can continue back. You'll actually notice that we're in the room that we were just in that we couldn't actually complete. So just go all the way back, back around, back through the little thing that we had to destroy. And back into here. Now from here, we'll actually activate, there's going to be some wind things all over the place that we can now use. So we'll come up here and we'll actually zoom right on over here. And then we'll wait. There's uh, you'll see this over here. So we'll wait for this to come back down. As soon as it starts coming down, we'll soar into the sky. There we go. Haha, -ha, we got it. And then we'll grab another sunset piece. Boom, baby. And then right over here we can grab this, which is oh nope. Oh nope. Which is going to contain another AP boost. Did you need AP? I heard you needed some AP to go with your AP. Here's some AP. And we can grab another another little puzzle piece. Sunset puzzle piece. And then we can go and grab this. And we can drop all the way or go over here, grab this, which is going to contain another map. The Dark Remembrance map. Perfect. And another uh, manifest illusion used for synthesizing. And then we can just... Whoop, there we go. Sunset puzzle piece. Perfect. And then we can go all the way over here where we can grab another chest which contains a Serenity Gem. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is all of the chests that we can grab in here. I want to just double check, look around, make sure... You don't want to drop all the way down because remember, if you do, you're going to be stuck in that valve area. So you don't want to—you don't actually want to do that. Right over here, we can of course grab a, another sunset puzzle piece. Perfect, and basically go back and do it again. Get all the way back over there because you need to use the door. Now, of course, you can stand on these pipes so you get a nice little—a little bit of a shortcut. I'm going to heal real quick. And all the way back to the door. 
See what I mean by puzzly? It feels very like Crash Bandicoot. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen that exact same thing on Crash Bandicoot. That's everything in this room. Let's continue to the mine shaft. This area is fine. Right here, we can get a power boost. Can you believe that? A power boost for Sora. We're actually going to use that immediately because like power boosts are so good. Uh, they're just so good. Being able to raise your strength. Oh my God, it's amazing. And we'll go ahead and grab this. this is it. So this is another one of those puzzles where you actually have to drop and then, and then, woo, look at that sunset puzzle piece. All right, woo, we rule. You can drop down there if you want, but there's no real reason to. So we're actually going to continue over here and we'll be thrust into another room full of this. Now I'm gonna try to kill these without switching over to my, uh, my other form. It's without using a dry form because these are actually all magic enemies that we're gonna be facing here. Which, you know, final form will still do great because final form just does a ton of damage. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if we can defeat these guys without doing it. Um, without using any item recovery, stuff like that. Now, you want to stay away from those Rhapsody guys, those those casters right here. Their, their wind just is can be can be quite a problem. But also, make sure you focus them down when you can because, again, they can do a tremendous amount of damage to you. And we'll just destroy these guys. Done, baby, done. Done, baby, done. I don't actually recommend... Uh, leveling here, by the way. So I've seen some people recommend leveling. No, there's real, there's really no need. So before we continue, I'm actually going to pop into, uh, which I should have done this earlier. I'm gonna pop into my stock real quick. I'm gonna use some some drive recoveries on Sora. Oh, he's already full. Nice. Um, so now we're maxed, and we'll find ourselves in the engine chamber. Now this area you can just kind of skip through if you want. There's no reason to fight all of these, so don't if you don't want to. You'll notice that we're kind of in a puzzle. It can be beneficial to kill them for multiple reasons. One, you need the synthesizing items. Uh, that's that's important. Right here, we can grab a chest, which contains a Serenity Crystal. Um, so, I mean, I do recommend killing everything you see. You know what? Let's just clean up the area. So I've kind of made some room for myself. Now we can continue on and go through here. These conveyor belt areas, well, as of you just saw, they have steam. Uh, which can be very, very obnoxious, and the combo of the steam and those wind guys right there, although the Heartless do get hit by it as well, so keep that in mind, can be really obnoxious. Now, I actually recommend skipping right through to here. There's no reason at all to fight over there. Make sure that you come over here, because if you fall off, you're going to have to climb all the way back up, and it gets so annoying to have to do that. And we get Serenity Stone. Beautiful. Again, you want those synthesizing items so like you can deal with these. Now, the harder part is going to be the top level of this area, which you, again, you can skip or you can not. Again, I recommend a little bit of both. Like get the synthesizing items you need and then like never fight here ever again. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. And now we can grab this chest which is going to contain a remembrance crystal. Now, something uh, we can kind of see these oops, these new heartless that have appeared. You'll see that we keep getting this um, this area so let's go ahead and actually look at the Heartless. Uh, again, I just want to show you which ones are here, just so that you know. Uh, we have, we found the Spring Metal, which are these guys. Although this Heartless stays put, it uses various tactics to lure enemies close. Don't leave it alone or you'll find yourself in trouble. Defeat it as quickly as possible. Don't hit it with magic. Aerial Viking, we've seen these guys before. They look so cool. Uh, use magic to limit its movements if you want. Uh, we got the Befuddler, which is just the bats. Don't even worry about it. Uh, the Rune Master, which is the book guy. When attacking this enemy, keep in mind that it's booked, acts as a shield, so you can attack from the back and it'll be fine. The Reckless is this big dude. A heart, it's immune to lightning, so don't use that. Uh, Lance Warrior is like the Lance Knights that we fought before. Be careful to avoid its powerful thrusting move. Use the Reaction Command Lance Tug, just like the other guy. Necromancer, which is so cool. Uh, it can't be locked onto while invisible, but when you land a hit, it'll it'll uh, show itself. Uh, that pretty much, that's... It, we got the aerial chomp champ as well, which is not a big deal. Kill those super quickly and you'll have no problem. Cool. So I wanted to show those. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is actually all of the heartless that you can find. Uh, all of the new heartless that you can find in this area. So this is the part that I was talking about being really, really, really annoying. So I'm going to heal up real quick. Um, as you can see, these guys just kind of chase you. And you can kill them if you want, but like, there's... 
These guys are just annoying. You need to kill them, obviously, because you need the Remembrance Crystals. You need all of that. Uh, this is going to be a little scary right now. Okay, let's grab these. And then we can get back... Oh my god. We can get back up here. See what I mean? This area is really, really obnoxious. Just this area. There's so many knockbacks and stuff. Uh, no, I, of course, like I just said, I recommend not dealing with those enemies here. And instead, what you want to do is you want to go all the way over here, where we can grab another chest, which contains an AP boost. And then don't drop down there, because there is another item right over here, which contains a Manifest Illusion. Perfect. Now we can leave. Never come to this area ever again. No. Uh, now we can go to the mine shaft. And we can grab another magic boost! We haven't actually had a magic boost in a long time. Obviously, equip that on, uh, just use it on Sora immediately. Or whoever else you want to use it on. His, his, his magic, my magic now, uh, matches Donald. Which is pretty cool. Now, obviously that trest. Now, this can be a kind of fun area. What you want to do is you want to jump, and you want to use this right away. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Three puzzle pieces, which means, just so you know, all of the pieces in Radiant Garden are now received. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Right here, we can go ahead and grab this to get another AP boost. And into the hardest area, I think, in the entire area, Transport to Remembrance. I recommend using Cure here. I recommend getting ready. You're going to have to fight three separate wa three uh, areas of different waves of heart, uh, nobodies. These are not normal nobodies. These are nobodies that really, really hurt. So something that I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to make sure that Sora has, instead of Oblivion, make sure that he has Bond of Flame equipped, uh, which provides that fire boost. And we will proceed forward. I'm actually just going to get ready. And we are going to final form right away. You can tell, you can tell, one, they get more experience than their counterparts in other areas. Look at how much damage that did. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. I'm going to use an ether real quick. Uh, and then hopefully, oh my god. Look at that. That's crazy. If you get hit, it's like, it's like, okay, well, you know, that hurt. I'm dead now. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use more Fire Gun to try to deal with these. And we cleared the first area, no problem. After every wave, your health will be reset. I recommend reverting uh, because you want to make sure that you have a full stock every single time that you go in there. I'm going to use another drive recovery on Sora, or two, I should say, just to get make sure Sora is up there. Again... I'm not joking, this is a very scary area. Very, very scary. Uh, so we're gonna continue over here. We're gonna have another one, I believe, right here. Okay, cool. We're going to use best, ah, there we go. These are a bunch of uh, snipers. We can kill them. Again, this Fyruga combo is just so good. Uh, and hopefully you can use it on Berserkers as well, just to like, really, really ruin their day. And level 75, all right. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use... I'm gonna use a cure real quick here and an ether. And then hopefully be able to kill some of these really, 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 really quickly uh, before anything horrible happens. And cure. Cool. And done. Woo! See, I don't know if you noticed, but on critical, this area is very hard. Again, we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did, where we'll leave and we'll use drive recovery. And now we have to get ready for probably the most challenging fight. Uh, some people say the most challenging fight in the game. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I will say that it is very, very tough. So I'm going to wait a minute. Uh, I'm gonna wait for my MP to come all the way back, and then we're gonna continue to towards this door. This is considered wave three to the transport to remembrance. It is a very, 
very difficult time. So I'm going to get ready. I'm already going to have my final form ready. I'm going to walk over here and boom. Uh, Dragoons are going to launch right away. We're going to go into this. I'm going to cast Magna, uh, Magna Gust so I can hopefully get some stuff in uh, and hopefully be able to uh, get, get Fiverga on them. Now, it would probably not be a bad idea. What you would want to do in this area is actually get a Shock Ring Plus that you can synthesize. Use those with Thundaga and all of that jazz, and uh, you'll actually be able to do to do uh, quite a bit. I'm actually going to revert here, and the only reason for that is so that... Um, Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, is so that I can do this, and then I'm going to actually use an Ether. I'm going to use an Ether and get these guys up, and then I'm actually going to uh, learn, jump. Okay, there we go. Actually, what I wanted to do there was something that I actually wasn't able to do, uh, which is use a summon. I'm going to actually go ahead and use uh, Genie. All right, Genie, come save our butt. Genie, I'm going to actually switch to his uh, his limit form, which actually should be... I'll go Drive, I'll go Final Genie, and then I'll go Infinity, uh, which hopefully will will do a, a pretty considerable amount of damage to the enemies that we have. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And hopefully with this Genie Summon, we can hopefully be able to finish these off. We're going to use Infinity here for these last little batch. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens, team. Our very last gauge here. We'll see. That's going to do some damage. There we go. We'll hit heal up, and then we'll get right back into it. Hopefully on this Dragoon here. Uh, be able to teach these guys some manners. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and hopefully, if I'm not uh, if I'm not awful, uh, we might be able to save the day. Uh, this, I don't know. This is a very, very challenging fight right there. Okay, we got hit by that. That's okay. Luckily, we got... Oh, that hurt. Okay, there we go. I'm actually going to use Ars Arcanum on these guys just to be able to get those invincibility frames. Uh, and not only that, but that does a lot of damage. And then we're going to go ahead and use Ars Arcanum yet again. And then we'll revert, heal up, and hopefully be able to finish him off. There we go. Magic has increased. Sora has hit level 76 just in these battles, uh, just to show how much we've actually had to deal with. Uh, let's see if we can finish him off. Oh, there we go. Sora gained an item slot. Donald, maximum HEP increased, and Goofy also got a... Whoa, that fight is so challenging. I am sweating profusely from that fight. My god. Let's continue through the final door of the Cavern of Remembrance. Garden of Assemblance. What could this be? Very strange. We see two chests here. The very last chest of Hollow Bastion. Go ahead and open that one for the very last map, the Garden of Assemblage map. And then right over here, we can go ahead and grab. Okay. Ready for this? A Lost Illusion. Uh, Lost Illusions, yet again, used in synthesizing, so you can use those. And then, what did we come all the way here for? This, these right here, are all data entries. The data organization. These are the organization members that you did not defeat in this game. Ones that have been defeated in others. Only by, well, there's a few that you have defeated in this game, but there's a few that you also have it. The only way to get all of the organization members to appear here, all of the data organization members, I should say, to appear here for the, the one, some of the hardest fights in the entire game. Uh, basically, they're the same fights as their their uh, their their regular counterparts, except they're all scaled to level 80. This is a very end game thing. This is when uh, I'm going to be level uh, 99 when we come back here to finish this. But this is your ultimate goal: is to come here and grab these. There is no save point or anything over here, unfortunately. It's not like you can, like, use this to save. You're kind of just stuck and have to do it. There is, obviously, down there is where... Oh, there's a new area! We didn't go down here before. Restoration sites. Where does this lead to? 
And by doing that, you will enter into the restoration site. Yeah, how cool is that? Uh, this is actually where... So, you're really, really close to the postern. This is the fastest way to get there now. You no longer have to go all the way through the thing. If you just go up here, you'll recognize where we are. This is the postern. So, you're actually super close to a save point. So, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Let's save real quick. So, now we have Sora, level 76. And I can go back and just show you that you can just, you can just walk back here. Um... It's super cool and also very interesting. I think this says a little something about the story, don't you? Garden of Assemblage, you can come back in here and you can fight any of these anytime you want. Uh, there's, you know, a few different bosses. They're all level 80, um, so you can go ahead and fight if you want. This is Lexius. And I can just show you that they do. You'll see that they have a completely maxed out health bar. Their health is huge! I really, really do recommend coming here at, you know, max level, have all your synthesizing stuff done. Uh, you know, if you need more health, get your health. Like, all of that is just something that I just absolutely, absolutely recommend here. If you fought any of the absent silhouettes, they fight exactly the same as they do there. Um, just as a, as a heads up in case you were wondering. But there you go. That is the Cavern of Remembrance. Uh, we've gotten everything that's there. If we go ahead and look at our journal as a one final summary, you can see that we have all of the maps now. We're actually missing, uh, some treasures. We get the trophy Navigator for having all of the maps. So that's pretty much everything that you could do in the Cavern of Remembrance. Thank you guys for watching this little extras video. This one was extra long because, you know, we had to do the entire cavern. Uh, but hopefully I was able to lay it out. Hopefully you didn't struggle too hard on critical mode. That last wave is very, very challenging and I wish you the best of luck. Next up on our list is a leveling guide and a synthesizing guide. Uh, and how to get to, uh, get Sora to be level 99 and have the ultimate weapon. Thank you guys very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to wave three. Oh my god.